Hey, it's Corey Blake for day, I think it's 91 on my vulnerability challenge. And today happens to be Father's Day. So uh, this one's a bit of a tribute to my old man. Uh, my dad and I have been on a pretty amazing journey, um, especially over the past six years or so since he started working for our company. And uh, it's been a roller coaster. The first year was really challenging because he came from uh, home audio and car audio equipment into our business of transformation and love and and that was super challenging and we actually had to kind of back off and and he had to walk away from the company for a while and then come back in a new way and and then he actually started doing some of his own personal development work and started changing and um, and then I had to contend with that which was really crazy for me because my dad started becoming really affectionate in a way that I, I hadn't known him and I needed time to adjust to that because um, I was really happy for him, but it also kind of freaked me out. <laughs> um, and then, you know, we continued on our path and um, and it's been really awesome. Uh, my dad, for many years now, uh, twice a week, he's been coming to my place to, to work from here. Um, so we get to spend time together and we get to cook for each other. Um, we kind of trade off on Mondays and Thursdays, making lunch for each other. and and spending time with each other and we play poker on Tuesday nights which we've been playing in a game for years together and one thing that my dad has taught me uh, that really stands out for me in the past few years is about family um, it's no secret to people that I'm really driven I'm really driven professionally and sometimes that um, has pro been a priority over other things that are important and and oftentimes I still really struggle with it but the one thing that my father has taught me is that when family needs you you show up um, and he's done that by uh, leading by example in that regard and it's something that I've watched myself change with and I'm really proud of that in myself because it's not easy for me um, for one reason or another, I, I think I just make excuses and and um, and I've been shitty at it and I felt crappy and so this feels better. Uh, like I said, I'm far from perfect at it. I'm not proactive typically with family. Um, I'm still not great at reaching out to people, but I'm really great at being reactive. Um, I'm really great when someone in the family says that they need something from me. Um, I'll do most anything uh, put it down, but put down most anything in order to be there um, when it's really been urgent. And I'm proud of that. I'm really happy with that. I look forward to becoming more proactive too and becoming uh, better at that. I've mentioned in other vulnerability challenges that I'm sometimes see myself as a crappy friend too. Uh, I'm not typically real good at this stuff. So it being modeled for me has been really important. And I'm so appreciative that my dad has been that for me. Um, it's something that I'll cherish forever that he woke me up to uh, later in life. And uh, and hopefully I'll, I'll continue down this path and become better and better at it. Um, yeah, proud of that. I'm grateful. Grateful to my dad. Uh, I got to take him to breakfast this morning. That was a moment of being proactive and inviting just him and me to go out. And now tonight we're going to go hang with him and his brother and my cousin. Uh, a couple of cousins and uh, and spend some good family time together so I'm looking forward to it hope that you're having an amazing day uh, if you're a father in your life in any way uh, happy Father's Day to you and whether you're a father of, uh, of dogs like myself or uh, children uh, whether you have a dad in your life I hope that you're doing something to acknowledge whoever plays that role for you or whoever you play that role for acknowledge yourself thanks for listening Talk soon.